Hello folks and welcome to a info video concerning the state of Tropico 4 Interactive LP I'm currently doing. Uh, I got some uh, bad news, another kind of bad news and some good news. Uh, let's start with the bad ones. Um, firstly, uh, I've been really freaking busy for the last couple of weeks and now I've got a, got a cold. I don't know if you can tell by the sound of my voice, but I uh, got a really sore throat and uh, yeah, generally just feeling woozy. So uh, yeah, I haven't been making any new videos and uh, basically I've just been trying to <laughs> get my myself sorted out and so all, all the like uh, university activities and such uh, kept under under control. Uh, um, the other bad news is that I am going to have to scrap the current uh, challenge run uh, where I mixed and matched some ideas because um, I found out that I, uh, it 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 can't be done. I cannot do it. Uh, I can fulfill all the uh, ideas that were thrown my way and I will explain reason why. Uh, first the minor reasons. The only way to actually completely piss off uh, US and USSR in the game is to uh, piss off the factions. So naturally, USSR uh, has a thing with communists in your country. So if you uh, mess with the communist faction a whole lot, they can they can get angry at you. Uh, whereas the US likes capitalists, and if you mess with them, you can piss them off. Cool. Okay. So I can do US, both US and USSR at the same time, because uh, capitalists uh, like different uh, things than uh, the communists dislike and vice versa. So if I don't give my people sufficient housing, I don't give them any food and I scrap all of the healthcare, the communists will dislike me up to a point where they might begin to actually rebel, but y you know, yeah, I can keep my uh, nationalists happy and loyalists happy and have a huge army and just constantly crush the rebels. That's no big deal, that's okay, I can maybe deal with that. But then we get to what capitalists dislike. Low profits, low crime safety. So not only would I have to uh, uh, make my people sick, make them starve and live in shacks, I also couldn't get any money. So I couldn't pay my soldiers to begin with, so I got no defense against uh, my people getting pissy and uh, just rebelling and uh, dethroning me right, like immediately. So that's no good. I, yeah. Uh, <laughs> If I had the profits, I could deal with uh, such a situation, but if I have to piss off both, I can't do anything. Similarly, if I, um, even if I don't have like, uh, any money, if I let cr uh, criminals run rampant and uh, like, uh, do only low profit uh, farms and mines and such, and uh, yeah, if I, if I piss off only the capitalists, the people themselves, like uh, in huge masses, won't rebel if I like, kiss up to communists and uh, uh, get at least some income, even though it's low income, some income to counter the smaller group of uh, potential capitalist uh, rebels. But yeah, as I said, this is, these are the minor problems. The major problem I found out is that um, it doesn't actually matter if I get to like uh, low relations with the US and USSR. <coughs> Excuse me, I need to cough. Oh, right, where was I? <laughs> so, um, even if I uh, get to like uh, bad relations with uh, 
US and USSR. Uh, the only thing that will happen is foreign invasion, which apparently just goes poof, you lost the game, good luck. And there's nothing you can do about it except for building a nuclear weapon. That's it. That's the, that's all you can do. And the effect of that is that no foreign inv invasion happens. Like nothing. Zero zip. That's that's all that happens. And the nuclear weapon only works as long as you have a uh, surplus. So if you have a treasury uh, on the black. So basically uh, the problem with this whole situation is that I'd have to have no money, have to have all of my, well not all of my, but let's say at least 50% of my population hate me. So all the communists and all the capitalists, which also means that I wouldn't have uh, any income, uh, really, really low income, I'd barely be able to scrape by. Uh, I couldn't have any kind of military, which excludes the nuclear weapon at the same time. And yeah, as soon as I got to the goal of pissing off both US and USSR, all that would happen is like a bing, you've lost the game pop up and that's it. So uh, I don't really find that uh, all, all that interesting way to play. And I doubt that you'd want to watch it, because, yeah, it's basically just me demolishing everything and pushing fast forward button until everyone hates me. And, uh, yeah, the either the US or USSR just invade and things go poof. So, yeah, I, th I, I think that this uh, challenge run needs to be scrapped. Which really bugs me, because I love to, uh, I like to see things that I start get done. I like to finish it. Uh, so, but yeah, I I can't uh, justify my, it myself that I'd spend hours upon hours doing something that uh, isn't fun, fun for me, and I doubt it would be fun for you to watch. So instead, I'll just... Uh, start another challenge run. I leave these few uh, episodes I've, I already finished uh, uploaded just uh, just as a uh, taster and, and uh, so that you have something to watch while uh, while you wait for for the next challenge run which is which is the good news. Uh, my, one of the people who gave me the uh, parameters for this challenge run that is now scrapped, Dantas 4, has uh, approached me with an interesting, interesting idea, and I'd really love to see how I can uh, get that done. Uh, basically, it's um, the idea is that I can't build any industry of my own, and just like uh, two or three buildings of uh, like. Uh, food production facilities like f uh, farms and uh, f uh, fishermen's wharfs and such like two or three of those and everything else has to be like foreign investments so I build a bank or several banks and just accept everything everything that comes along uh, that I even slightly want to build and even if I don't want to build something I may just have to take it to get some kinds of uh, jobs for my for my populace and I find that really interesting because um, yeah uh, not having as much control over how uh, what kind of kinds of jobs my uh, citizens have and uh, what kind of industries uh, being built in my my lands and also I believe it severely reduces the income I have to play with so I believe this is going to be a really interesting run and uh, I will be trying to get that started as soon as my uh, throat gets fixed. I <laughs> I know it probably doesn't sound all that bad, but trust me, it's bad. This 15-20 like, minute 
rant I've been on is already hurting like heck. So, <coughs> in in conclusion, let's just um, yeah. Uh, the old run is scrapped. I will begin another s shortly, and I have some other other things cook, uh, cooking in the back burner. Th though, yeah, uh, it always feels kind of bad uh, trying to do some uh, some games that LPS better than my, uh, myself have actually uh, had a hand on and uh, been doing successfully. I I just I I have to give it a go, especially with games that I love and games that I find really really interesting. And also I have a promise to keep to a friend uh, uh, with whom uh, we are actually uh, dabbling on with this uh, another LP project. Uh, I will put put a link in the description if you haven't already heard about the Great Shogun 2 War of uh, East versus West Europe versus the Waddling Ducks. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think that just about covers it. Stay tuned for uh, further updates uh, and uh, have a nice day. Bye for now. See you later.